I'm just gonna cast this. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing Dota 2 but boosted. And we're gonna go ahead and play some Axe. Because there's some fun stuff you can do with Axe. You can upgrade his armor and the armor multiplier. And all of a sudden, he does a lot of damage. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. So, we got ourselves Axe. Let me go ahead and grab some stuff and then make my way into a lane. Uh, we'll... I mean, I was gonna say we might have a bit of a slower start, but I mean, we're axed, we probably won. <laughs> Where am I going? Am I going mid? I mean, we have this Morphling who probably wants top, right? And go Spirit Break or Viva at the bar. Right. Mid axe it is. Mid axe it is. Why not? Now, I am currently using my new monitor. I finally have it all set up. Got my cool Sony monitor. <laughs> the Sony M9. This isn't even sponsored right now. I don't know, I'm just kind of excited for it, to be honest. And I have it finally all set up. Uh, and it is quite a bit bigger than my previous screen, uh, which isn't a big deal by itself. I just have to get used to it. So if I make some mistakes that feel uncharacteristic, then that's why. Although knowing you guys, you're just going to be like, ha, don't worry, Bami. I always knew you were going to be garbage. And you know what? That's fair. Anyway. Oh, hello, Pingu. Ow! Don't do that. What a bad, bad Pingu. Uh, where do I put this? I think I'll put it here. Hello, friends. So, bonus armor. Kill speed duration. Damage. Armor multiplier. Armor multiplier! Shit. I did not expect that oak to be that long. Um, 31 months. Let's go. Hello. Love you. Keep up the good hey, work. Hey, this. The best. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Bonus armor. Oh, I mean, it's an epic. I'll take it. Look, I am the armor man. That's who I am. That's how I live. That's what I'm gonna do. That hit me? No, I'm gonna just keep getting hit by hooks. That's what I'm here to do. So that's, that's fine. You know what? If I am the getting hit by hooks man... Then I think that at least I I am distinct. Right? At least I feel like I have a role and a purpose. Let me go out and grab this bottle. 55 armor. This is a 1.3 armor multiplier. So if I do this and then do this, then I should actually do quite a lot of damage, right? Yeah, I mean it was kind of. Kind of strong, like a little for a moment. I wouldn't say it was crazy good, but I also wouldn't say it was bad. Kind of okay. All right, let me just go ahead and go grab my stuff. The nice thing is since the armor multiplier is going to be most of our damage, we don't actually really need to level this up too much, right? It'll be good anyway. How long does this last? Two seconds. So not really that long, sadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what we really need to level up is the armor per kill. Now, that's really nice, though. It's a great, great value to have. Uh, because the way Axe works is that we can ha level it up retroactively, right? We don't need to have it right away. Oh. Are you dead? You're dead. Goodbye. Oh, you're not dead. That's kind of impressive. I mean, you are dead. Yeah. I wanted to get that kill myself, but oh well. Radius, duration, duration. Huh. I mean, I gotta increase my armor, I think. We did get the Windrunner. I think that's a good outcome. So I'm, I'm okay with that. But we now need to level this up. Get ourselves the four seconds duration there. So we can go and uh, beat up the Windrunner a little bit more. I mean, it's 55 armor. That's quite a lot. So almost one of those things where getting more of it is actually always pretty okay. I mean, there's kind of... There's an equilibrium that you want to hit, right? You don't just want to have only armor. You want to have armor and then either HP and a or HP region to go along with it. 
And usually since HP is much easier to get than HP reach, and you want to have HP and you kind of want to like build them up equivalently because that way you have the most effective HP. But you know what? Just having a bunch of armor is still going to be all right. Hello. What do I get? I think I'll get some movement speed. I'm... I don't know, she's not really doing anything. <laughs> she's putting in a lot of effort, and I respect that. But at the same time, she's not actually doing anything that is in any way threatening or scary. So I don't really have any concerns. Thank you so much. Armor multiplier. Up it goes. Duration. I missed... That's unfortunate, but that's... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That is still a lot of damage, isn't it? Yeah, even if I miss, the buff still applies. Alright. There we go. That should be it. Nice. And that's some permanent bonus armor. Hello, friend. Witch Doctor can actually be kind of scary. Yeah, we should be maybe a bit careful around the Witch Doctor, to be honest. So, what are we buying next? I mean, we'll get ourselves the TP boots really quick. And then, I think Blade Mail is probably still okay. I mean, we are Axe, right? <laughs> Oh, that was kind of mean. But, uh, it goes how it goes. So, radius, radius, armor per kill. Armor per kill. Bonus armor, armor multiplier, armor per kill. I'm gonna get the rare here. I always like going for those, right? Like, I mean, we've, we talk about that every time. But I, generally, if I can get the rare or the epic upgrades, I prefer going for those just because it's... In the long run, a bit more uh, cost-effective. Upgrade-effective? I guess cost-effective still applies as, like, a descriptor. Hello. Hmm. So, I can't really leave. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. Thank you. And then, uh... Nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That worked out surprisingly well. I am not entirely sure how I am so tanky, but I'm guessing just being Axe really helps. I mean, that gotta be it. I'm, I don't actually have that much armor yet. I mean, this is giving me 9 armor right now, which is definitely not bad, but it's not crazy good either. Hello. Hmm... Oh, wow. I think they got me this time. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, yeah, you do, you do. Bonus armor. I think so. I think we need a little bit more armor. Plus one culling... Uh, wait, plus one bonus armor per culling blade stack. But I don't think I'm going to get that right now. Because we can always get that later. Right? But I can get the culling blade damage right now. Um, since we need to actually farm up the Culling Blade stacks. And that's not really something that we want to delay too much on. Alright. Our damage is mostly physical, but... Friends. Try to let me get the dunk. I gotta build up all more. No, I want to get the dunk, right? So, a little unfortunate there, but nothing that's too big of a deal. Uh, uh, ru not runes. Sorry. Uh, wards are available. Poor man's shield. Oh, why, yes. Ooh, that's very fancy. I haven't, haven't seen that bad boy in a moment. I just watched the video. I've been watching some Dota content because I'm doing research for a video. And uh, no promises on whether or not that video will ever be made, by the way. I'm running into a problem with making that video. That problem being that I'm worried I'm going to be really mean and everybody will get really mad with me. <laughs> <laughs> But in that video, somebody was like, I've been playing Dota for five years, and that's a really long time. And then I think to myself, yeah, that is a long time. But then I also think to myself, I'm old. Hello, friend. 
Okay. I should be able to get this, right? I, did we get this? I'm not convinced we did. Alright, Taunt. I'm not getting any of these dunks. I'm so sad. <laughs> I mean, you're not killing me. Do not get this. Uh, no, no, god damn <laughs> Alright, there's the battle hunger. No! <laughs> I've got an ultra kill, but I'm not getting any fucking dunks. I don't care about this ultra kill. This is a garbage ultra kill. There you go. We did it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Oh, I got a rampage. I think that's okay. Hello, friend. Battle hunger's active. I'm just, I'm just always disabled. Okay, stun him. Nice dunk. Nice. Well, I got the dunk. So not that nice, but that's okay. I, it's fine. Whatever. I didn't get the kill. I'm sad. I thought I was gonna get it. Yeah, 600 damage is a lot. Now, Rin Ranger is a Rin Ranger. She doesn't have that much HP. Okay. Now, I could level up. I could level up the... Uh, what is this? Reduces TP scroll cooldown by 20 seconds and causes them to not be consumed. Hmm. Probably not that good. <laughs> but kind of fun, I guess. All right, I'm going to go and get more armor. Armor multiplier, thank you. Armor multiplier. I don't think I care about... Oh my god, yes! Oh, I can dunk from like full HP now. Ah, that's not great. Come back. Oh, my dunk is not ready. I see some further problems here. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> this is doing so much damage. <laughs> All right. Dunk! Very good. Come back, come back, come back. Hmm. I gotta kill this tusk, which is turning out to be surprisingly difficult. That should do it. Dunk! Yeah! Dunk! <laughs> that damage upgrade ended up coming in very handy. I have a lot of money. I gotta get myself some cooldown reduction and spell I steal. Well, I have spell I steal, but like I think like a Kaya and a uh, what's it called? A Kaya and a Sange is probably not a bad idea, right? So we'll grab ourselves the Octarine Core, and then we'll get ourselves the Kaya and the Sange, and then Aghanims wouldn't be too bad either. First, what do we want? Uh, I think it's time for spin damage. Oh yeah, more damage on this. Thing more damage on this. Bonus armor. <laughs> I think we need some more armor. Armor multiplier. Thank you. Armor multiplier. So armor multiplier is 7.4. And this gives us 122 bonus armor. Uh, and we already have like 80-ish. Oh, nice. But you don't do damage with that. <laughs> with the Weaver Buck reducing all of the armor away, dear god. <laughs> also, I'm stuck. Hello, can we leave? Oh my god. Oh, come on now. I'm just gonna TP. We can't blink out of it. Yeah, the Weaver just reduced all of the armor away, and I just do a lot of damage with my 8 armor multiplier. Let me get an Agonims, and then we'll get uh, more duration on this. Thank you. How long does it last? 8 seconds. That's pretty good. Oh, 8 seconds is absolutely respectable, isn't it? Hello, friends. Mm, okay. I'm just gonna cast this. <laughs> oh. Dunk! Did I get it? 
I'm not... No, I don't think we did. No. Yeah, dunking things is turning out to be surprisingly tricky. Also, this build is actually kind of crazy. I didn't expect this to be that good. But I wasn't... You know, you, you can never really know just how many upgrades you'll actually have available. And also, I have 16 kills somehow. So, um... Oh, hello. Donk. Donk. Yeah, I'm now auto-casting it. Here. Are you dead? You are. Hmm. How long? This is eight seconds. Oh, I can just have this active. I can just, like, keep casting it. Here. Have fun. <laughs> so I have... Nearly 200 armor. And this is a 10 multiplier. So I, I, I deal 2,000 physical damage per tick. On an ability that has a little bit of cast range. Donk. 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 Very good. Thank you. Did it hit? I don't know if it did. I don't think it did. Okay. I have 11 dunks now. So this is 62 bonus armor. Let me come in over here really quick. We'll pick up a quick little bunch of tickets, my friends. Yes, yes, yes. Armor multiplier goes up. Yes, yes, yes. Duration, that goes up too. Yeah, 206 armor right now. We don't really need duration on this. It's kind of pointless, honestly. Slow? Uh, let's, let's just make the slow bigger. Why not? I mean, if we're going to torture people with it, we might as well go all out, right? Oh, it doesn't seem like they want to come and fight us anymore. Alright. Understandable. Armor per kill, thank you. Look, I know that's the worst upgrade, but it's the one I like more, so I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I'm gonna get armor multiplier. We at twelve. <laughs> Sorry, Pingu. <laughs> oh, the fountain just doesn't actually do damage. <laughs> oh my god. I can just I can just tank the fountain hits. It's fine. I guess more spin damage. Armor per kill, thank you. <laughs> Bonus armor, why not? Donk. It's okay. I, I can I can probably just stay here. I mean I don't even have oh never mind. One sec. I gotta cast this again. I don't even have a heart. Like I'm not really healing a lot. Oh no. Oh bonus armor, thank you. That's very good. Oh Vincent, I'm sorry. <laughs> How much damage is this? Dear God. Okay. Let's calculate it. We have 276 armor and there's a multiplier of 12. So that's like 275 times 12, which is 550 and 2000. It's like 3,300 3, ish. Pretty good, pretty good. End it. I, we are ending it. Come on, we are ending it. No, 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 no. We're definitely ending it. I, I'm not, I'm not, like, yeah, I'm a little mean. Uh, look, I got 30 kills. That's a little mean. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that's, that's a little brutal. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we are actually ending it. All right, that was fun. That was exciting. Let's see if we can get another game.
Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you do, I would appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. It genuinely matters, and thank you. Also, I'm currently working on a cute little puzzle game called Sweet Dreams Alex. Please check it out on Steam, link below. If you like it, please wishlist it. Thanks. All right, daughter time. All right then. I thought it would be fun if we play Axe again. But the last build we played was really strong. Now, it's not a huge surprise because it it's kind of a multiplicative build, right? We have one ability that multiplies our values and then we have two abilities that can provide us with the values to multiply. So if we increase both, we do a ton of damage. That makes sense. That doesn't necessarily always mean that the build is going to be broken, right? Don't, don't think that because sometimes even if those factors apply, the build can still be bad just by virtue of the numbers not really adding up enough. However, this time around, I think what we're going to do is we're going to play Axe again, but we're going to completely avoid the build we went for in the first game, where we went for all of the armor stuff. This time around, no armor stuff. Instead, we're going to go for counter helix. We're going to try to spin as much as possible. That's my plan. We'll see if that works out, right? We'll see if that's going to be okay. I imagine the build's going to be way worse, but it's going to be mostly duration on Berserker's calls. We can, uh, like, uh, block people down for a long time and then get the counter helix AoE. Ooh. That's a AoE and damage and chance and so on. So right here, like, armor multiplier, we don't want that. We don't want bonus armor. Right, I'm going to just go ahead and go for duration on this. And then there's damage. Great. All right, let's get that spin going immediately. Now, we're going up against some scary heroes. Uh, I'm mostly worried about the Weaver. The Weaver actually makes me kind of think maybe we should go for a bunch of armor. Right, because it's a Weaver. That's what Weaver does. Weaver is going to go ahead and spam his little bugs and be a little bastard with that. And uh, that's going to go ahead and just negate all of our armor. And that's unfortunate. But at the end of the day, I don't really think there's all that much we can do about that. So that might be a kill. Yep. I don't think there's all that much we can do about the Weaver being a Weaver. So we'll just have to kind of put up with it. Alright, give me some spins. Very good. I mean, spin is an incredible ability. Just super good. Okay, coming in here. Hello. Uh, so this is going to last a little while. <laughs> Good. <laughs> More of the spin. I don't think I have enough, but I'm going to try. All right, I need a spin. I need at least one spin. There you go. I'm probably dead. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I think that's an okay outcome. Now, I do want to be clear here, though. I'm not, like, locking myself out of using my ultimate or, you know, engaging with a little bit of armor shenanigans. I'm just saying, previously in the first game we played, our emphasis was entirely on the armor. This time around, our emphasis is going to be on the spin. Of course, uh, even in the first game, we ended up getting a little bit of spin because you just can't fully exclude an aspect of a hero. That doesn't usually work, right? And I say that, I want to iterate that, I want to make that clear. Because people always get grumpy with me. <laughs> they always like, Rami, you cheated. And I'm like, no, I didn't. I mean, I guess it depends on your definition, doesn't it? It depends a little bit on how you feel about it. Let me go and get a blade mail. That's still going to be good. Oh, there's no avoiding that. That's just a great little thing. Hello. Dunk? Oh, that's disappointing. But we got both of them. It's a huge duration already. It's great. It's fantastic. Seven seconds. With just that one good upgrade. Yeah, those epics, uh, <laughs> they're nice. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't get that dunk, though. So, we got ourselves the blade mail. We're going to be kind of careful here. Duration, radius, radius, bonus armor. I think we just get ourselves the radius on the spin-up. 
That's honestly something where it's going to be completely pointless at first. When we level up the spin at first, it's going to be... There's not going to be any real benefit to leveling up the radius. But as we go through the game and we get the radius to, you know, a certain breakpoint, all of a sudden what's going to start happening is that the spin is going to have a radius that is bigger than its visual AoE. And at that point, it starts being really difficult to deal with because you don't know where you're taking damage from. And I know that may not sound like a huge deal, right? It's just like, okay, well, I mean, you're still taking damage. Like, what's the problem with just with not knowing exactly where it's from? But it actually makes a massive difference. It makes a massive difference. Ooh, armor per kill. Oh, I want it so bad. I can get the epic, right? I can get it once. Uh, it would just be such a waste to not get that epic. Let's get more counter helix. Oh yes, thank you, that is great. Let's get more damage. Radius uh, duration damage. Let's get the radius up for, on this as well. Oh no. Yeah, Weaver, 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 Weaver. Gotta be a little careful with this guy. If I blink in and do this, and then this, maybe? Oh, there's a time lapse. Okay. Damn, Axe has so much damage. Axe is actually crazy, but my, my spin does 588 damage. And of course, it's pure. That's really it. That's what makes it crazy good. Radius, thank you. Ooh, it's big now. More radius. <laughs> Hello, friend. We're gonna need some spins. We're not getting this. It's fine, we'll just get out. I'm not gonna mess with this, uh, with this little fella. I, it's just no way, right? It's not happening. Better to play it safe. We'll get ourselves Octarine Core and TP boots. Octarine Core is gonna be very nice because then we can spam Berserker Skull more. I've always liked Octarine Core and Axe. Oh! I guess I could have played mailed that. I, I... Didn't expect that to deal 13,000 damage to me, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> I even have magic resistance. I thought I was gonna be fine. So I'm guessing that somebody has an increased... Yep, max targets bonus damage per unit. God, that's just gonna be a one-shot. It's a predictable one-shot, which makes it fine. Makes it manageable, I think. Because we can actually just blade mail it, and we are going to blade mail it, and that's just gonna be what happens, and you're gonna have a bad time. But uh, at the same time, it is also just a tad bit scary, because if we don't see it coming, or if we have cooldowns, or if we don't respond in time, then we're not gonna be able to get the blade mail off. And on top of that, I mean, we'll still die, and that's always annoying. I'm never a big fan of counters where the Whole idea is basically just, okay, we're going to sacrifice ourselves to kill the opponent. Nah. That always feels bad to me. I don't know about you guys. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for this and then more damage here. I don't know if I can do... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good spins. Very good spins. I mean, we do have this now, right? So we've got 30% chance to helix. Hmm. Is it bouncing? Is it going to come to me? Hello. Well, you're dead. <laughs> oh, no. Gotta get rid of the swarm. Alright, the taunt is online. <laughs> I get the feeling that Axe is just a very good hero. He just strikes me as kind of decent. More Berserker's Call AoE. It's big now. Look at it. It's massive. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't think it. Do not. I don't. Do not. Everybody who says it is getting a timeout right now. <laughs> don't do it. I'm paying attention. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. 
radius armor per kill i'm so i'm definitely not skilling up armor multiplier i think that very much would go against the what i said earlier if i don't want to prioritize the armor as much um so i'm just gonna get more duration i think Ooh, more damage yeah yeah let's get more damage okay so there's a ward up here i'll probably kill it i'll get it after i kill the specter give me a spin nah you're not going anywhere Although it's annoying because I didn't actually get uh I didn't get a dunk. More damage, more damage. More damage, more damage. Oh, do I see more damage? Is that radius? Very good. Okay, Vincent. Do we have a problem here? Is somebody Oh, I see. Oh, you might have made a mistake, friends. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't get the spin. I didn't get the spin. We gotta get that Agonims. I not prioritized it because, you know, it's not really our main thing here. Armor per kill? Sure. Radius. Yeah, thank you. Ooh. Again, it's gonna take a little while for it to actually be relevant. I'm not sure if it is yet, but at the at the same time, you know, we did manage to get Berserker's Call upgraded pretty significantly, and I think I think this is very much a significant boost. And that upgrades at the exact same rate, so it's not not that unreasonable to expect we'll get there. Come on, give me a spin! 30%, by the way. 30%. You're not going anywhere. Sorry. Oh, really? Come on, give me a spin. There you go. Second spin. Ah, friend. <laughs> Didn't expect to be part of that taunt, did ya? <laughs> oh, I think that Reaver just went back to base. More duration. Yes, thank you. Let me get that Agonims. Whew. Well, that worked out nicely. I do still need bigger spin. I want to be able to spin and hit things that are attacking me at range. That's my desired distance. But I don't really... Uh, I'm just going to invest into it now. We'll just get the radius upgrades as often as we can. That's why we have two blade mails. Uh, it's just intense effort, truly. This is uh, I've I've just watched a lot of a lot of Dota YouTube tutorials, and uh, that's how you get good. And that was an illusion, huh? Didn't the other illusions fade earlier? It might have died. It might have just gotten killed. Hello, Cabal. <laughs> I think that gush has been slowed down. Which is the new meta, by the way. People have been doing that. They slow down projectiles so you can stagger them. Which is very funny. Also, I'm not convinced it's good, but it is funny. So I, I'll see that as something good. By itself. Funnily enough, the Nature's Prophet Ultimate hasn't really been a much of an issue. You know, I was worried about that. Thought that might become a problem. But it's been fine. Okay. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay. I gotta get a blink. I gotta get a blink. Nope. I got you. <laughs> There's no running from this. <laughs> so my current problem appears to be that my... Oh! Giga brain shit. That's actually so smart. So I was about to say, my current problem is actually that my spin is killing things too quickly and then I don't get to dunk them. But now my next problem is that the Spectre bought a blade mail. So now... <laughs> 
<laughs> now I just die, as long as she activates that. Now, luckily, I am the one that's kind of in control of that situation, right? Uh, I can choose when I go in, when I go for a taunt. But still, a little bit tricky is something we want to keep in mind there. Hello. Wow, you're drifting, my friend. Can you stop? I need to I need to get attacked. Hmm. Which one is real? Oh, that's the blade mail one. Okay, not taunting. Taking it easy. There we go, now we taunt. Hello friends! Dunk! Gimme give gimme give a spin. Gimme a spin. Gimme a spin! <laughs> No, that wasn't me. Ah, oh, that was the cleave. I was so excited. Nah, our radius isn't big enough for that yet. I did look like it though, right? That definitely looked like I got the nature's profit with the spin. So, let me go out and grab... What am I grabbing? Uh, I want to get the arcane blink, I think. I like Sunrise's logic there. With arcane blink, we have a faster core. Which should make things nice. And it will increase the radius even more. Oh yeah, thank you. Epic radius upgrade. We'll always go for that, right? I mean, it's just enormous. I don't really think we need that much more damage. Like, spin is absurd in its damage output. We didn't... It doesn't seem like we can get increased chance. Which, in all honesty, good call. I don't think we should be able to get that. That seems silly. Okay, yeah, the blade mail counterplay is hurting. How much damage reduction does the Spectre have? Damage reflected 117%. So she should be nearing 50% damage reduction. And I said this many, many times before, 50% is the problem. Right? That's where it gets, that's where it turns into an issue. But actually, no, she's nowhere near 50%. Oh yeah, sorry, I always confuse that. But 117% is an 117 bonus. It's the multiplier, right? So she's actually only got a 17% increase. So we are still we're still plenty fine. Okay, coming in, coming in, coming in. I right, eventually, if this game takes long enough, the Spectre will become unkillable. And once that happens, we have oh no. Alright, I'll just fucking go for it. Like, ah. I could get a bloodstone, I guess. Alright, I've got another taunt. Ah, my dunks aren't happening. But my taunt is just so huge. I think I'm getting a bloodstone. Do we still care about this blade mail? I don't... I don't think... I don't think I care at all. So I'll get rid of that. And then, do I keep Eternal Shroud? I don't think so. I don't think there's a good reason to keep it. And Akaya and the Sange is probably better. So, we have now really kind of leaned into Spell Lifesteal. But if we activate this, then we get ourselves a whole bunch of Spell Lifesteal for a moment. And with that, I'm hoping we should be able to actually survive through even the Spectre's nonsense. Uh, sure, more radius. Make that even bigger. Woo! It's massive. You're missing a consumed moon shard? I guess I am missing it, but I don't really care. Should I buy it? Okay, I'll buy it because I know that it bothers you guys. Yeah. Alright, now we've got all of this stuff. It would be better to invest that money into tickets. Right? Just to kind of make that clear. Tickets, I think, are the stronger option in that moment. But I'm okay with just going for the moon shard. I'm okay with just getting myself the boots so you all feel satisfied. Are they counterwarding all of our wards or are we not buying them? We are not buying them. Okay, that's fine. Pop this bad boy in there. Radius. Radius. Alright. 
the bug is a problem. I gotta deal with the bug. Oh, you know what? I think actually Moonshot is good because of the bug. I think you guys are right. I take it back. Did I get the Viva? I got the Viva. <laughs> oh my god. It's impossible to dunk. But, uh. Hi, Baumi. God, that have a good day. Hey, unknown 0612. Thank you so much for the eight months. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing good. Went to the doctor this morning. I had a blood test and an EKG. Don't worry. Nothing. Nothing to be concerned about. It's just I feel tired frequently and I wanted to basically have my vitamins checked. That's the whole thing. And then the doctor was like, we should do an EKG just because you've never done one. And it would be nice to have a baseline value. So uh, I had that done this morning. And EKG, I have the results, which is I am healthy. I am fine. And uh, I haven't gotten the results of the blood test yet. We'll see that. I'll, I'll get those tomorrow. But uh, I didn't know that an EKG, that it stands for electric octopus. Did you guys know that? <laughs> That's just what I've declared. Because it's like a weird machine with a bunch of, like, basically suction cups on it. And it just like, they just like stick it on you. And then it like sucks in. And then it does something. And then it's done. And it's like. Okay. It's really weird. I did not, I did not know what an EKG was. Uh, and I don't feel like I now know any better. Oh my God. See, this is like the funny thing about this. It may not seem good to do that, and it's not really, but once you reach a certain threshold, it starts being good just because it it becomes this weird barrier. Did I get the guy over there? No. I'm spending most of my time just in trees. <clears throat> huh. Okay, this is annoying. This is actually very annoying. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, I got attacked by an electric octopus this morning, which was an interesting experience. Get damage on this so I can actually get some kills. Grab these. Oh, yeah, more duration. I mean, my taunt literally lasts forever. It's kind of crazy. Grab ourselves the Kaya and Sange. Increase the radius on this. Yeah, that's what we wanted the blade mail for, but it didn't end up being relevant. But, you know, there it is. That's the problem. Electric cuddly grabber. There you go. No, it was it was just like a bit of a weird experience, you know? It, it just wasn't what I expected. But then again, I didn't really know what to expect. They said they want to do this, like, heart test thing, right? And I'm just like, okay, I've, I've heard about this because in the medical show that we watch, uh, medical shows that we watch a lot of, they are always talking about, like, oh, you got to do this test and this test and this test and this test. But then they rarely actually show the tests. So it was kind of funky to actually see him. Mickey likes watching a lot of medical dramas. Currently we're watching Chicago Med, which um, we lovingly call a medical show. <laughs> because frankly speaking, that's that's what it is. There's nothing else noteworthy about it. I would not recommend Chicago Med unless you're really into medical shows. <laughs> It's just it's just med it's just a medical show, that's what it is. In its entirety, it can be summed up as a medical show. What do I do about this tight hunter situation? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, did I get hit by a gosh? I got a weaver. Oh, am I dead? I'm not dead. I'm not dead. You are dead. I am fine, but you will not be, my friend. Good. Go, 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 go. So that's a lot of spider webs, isn't it? Are there still gushers here? No? Oh man, how are we ever gonna push? One more radius. Look at that. That's a significant radius. I need to get that on par with the Berserker's Call radius. But I think it's already at a point where it more or less will outrange ranged attackers. So we should actually be fine in that regard. Yeah, it totally hits that. More radius. Oh, that's an unfortunate stun timing. Alright, taunt, taunt, taunt. Nice. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just all blade mail. <laughs> blade mail on dispersion. They don't actually do damage to me. They don't do shit. I am the only one that deals damage. Oh, that's maybe not ideal. I'm not gonna stop upgrading my damage, though. Don't be silly. No, we're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep hoping that that's enough. I'm not sure if Blink Dagger is that good, to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, you can just... How much does that do now? A thousand damage. Do I have to get... Do I have to get... A freaking armor upgrade? I think I'm gonna need armor upgrades, I don't know. So... We are now at 687.5 radius. I think I want to get that up to 700, but that's mostly because I like having the clean number, if possible. I don't think we actually need any more radius upgrades. Because there's no point in getting the radius upgrade past enemies' attack range. If they can't attack us, we're not going to be spinning anyway. I mean, I suppose that you could argue that the point is that by increasing the radius, we can hit things that aren't attacking us as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I think our primary concern is going to be hitting things that are actually attacking us. Did we get him? I think we got him. Oh, these bugs are becoming a problem. So we have a bunch of money. Bunch of wards. Look, I'm just buying this stuff. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! There was nothing there. I totally blinked past it. Do you see what I mean with this can eventually become scary? It's really a very silly build, but this kind of stuff, it just it kind of breaks your expectations as to how to deal with the hero. And that's what makes it difficult, because you just have no experience with it at all. I think that's something that particularly people that are watching these videos tend to neglect. That uh, we have no fucking experience going up against any of this stuff. And that makes things difficult. Also, yes, I'm just gonna ward my base because I don't know where else to put them and I don't care that much. I'm just gonna get all more. I just don't have anything else that I really need. Alright, let's get that to 704, just where we got it. I don't need duration anymore. I don't need radius anymore. Okay, you know what, I'll get that epic, why not? And that radius, I guess, is still okay, but it's also not that important anymore. Like, what else am I gonna get at this stage? There isn't really anything in particular that is particularly important anymore. Hmm. I think that's the real Spectre. Armor Multiplier. 
Alright. Do we do it? Oh, well, you all be mad. Right, it's an epic. We we take the epic. We take the epic. Alright. Coming in here. Oh hello. No. Sorry. You just can't run away like that. Oh, is it divine now? She's got Alchemist Almore on top of everything now. Uh thankfully we have the Pango who's just kind of <laughs> popping up a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, bonus Almore. Bonus damage. <laughs> This is so dumb. <laughs> what do I get? Well, I think we always just keep building. Like, I think our items are fine. We just keep building tickets, right? But I gotta get this tier 5. Did we get them? Did somebody else pick them up? We've got a four in sky. I mean, that's not too bad. It's a blink dagger. That means I can replace my blink dagger. What tier 5 would I even want? Hmm. Hello, friend. Gotta get rid of the bug. The minus armor that I take from that would just be way too much otherwise. Nice. Look at us. Hey, it's still primarily spin, okay? We just do a little bit of bonus damage with Battle Hunger now. Just gonna keep, keep Battle Hungering. So, Saints for Manta, so Illusions can spin and take Blade Mail? No. I don't think. Like, Illusions would spin. Hmm. Maybe? Well, I think we sell Blink. I'm not sold completely on the illusions idea. Because, like, I'm just taunting all the time anyway. It's not like the illusions are going to spin. Alright, pop these two. Uh, we'll get duration up, and then uh, I guess damage per second, <laughs> bonus armor, Rest is for the dead. radius. Look at that spin radius, but count helix is still a little bigger. Okay. I think that missed. Must have been awfully close though. Yeah. Oh, this has degenerated quite a bit, hasn't it? Alright, I'm coming in. Spin. Oh, the Witch Doctor just heals like crazy. Maybe I should get like a... Maybe I should get like a Shiva's guard? How much does that Witch Doctor even heal? 2,170%. So that's... Uh, well, that's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems to be the, the approach was to just outlive my damage. Which is an interesting approach. Armor multiplier. Ooh. 
Spectre is also just actually online now. 54% damage reflected. This does 864 damage. We should get blade mail. <sighs> Are we back to just getting blade mail? I think we might be. All right, get the armor multiplier up a little bit. I was just always rooted, which is also kind of annoying. Do we have any idea which one is real? Or if any of them are? Oh, this one is real. Uh oh, wait, okay. Ah ha ha. Ticks, more ticks and less duration. So you just instantly die. <laughs> well, I, I just, I just took 13,000 damage right there. Get more radius for what it's worth. More damage. Yeah, if you get hit by that uh, big ultimate, that's just it. Oh, not ultimate. It's not even ultimate, right? It's just melody. Alright, blade man. I actually die. Yeah, no, the Spectre hit that 50% mark. Right? I've talked about the 50% so many times. But once the 50% is online, that's just it. Like, you just cannot deal damage anymore. I mean, it really does mean that she just deals more damage to us when we deal damage to her. Alright. I think they got us. Alright, I can at the very least get the Nature's Prophet. I'm not scared of that. <gasps> okay, that's fine. I'm not super scared of the ultimate. I am very much, very much scared of the Maledict. But, you know, that's just gonna be how it is. I'm gonna keep slamming my taunt. Ah, spin. I got some of them. Kind of. What is Pango doing? Pango is just going nuts. <clears throat> oh. Where did she go? <laughs> we can win? How? <laughs> you can kill Spectre, but like you died. You need to somehow kill Spectre in a way that doesn't involve you and, you know, the rest of our team dying. I can kill Spectre if I don't die ahead of time, but I do. So I guess I can't really kill her, but... You know. The problem isn't just that we need to kill the Spectre, the problem is that we need to be alive afterwards. Alright, blade mail comes in big time, but oh, it's just... Oh, no. No way, no way. Healing, healing, healing. For what it's worth. But that pure damage attack... It's devastating. <laughs> what did y'all do with the pango? Let him go. The poor guy, he's trying his best. He's just, he's just spinning. I'm gonna come and save him. Alright, we got one. What if I just like, lead them away? Oh my god, I have an idea. Can I outrun the Spectre? Why is she so fast? No! <laughs> I 
Okay. I'm gonna level up the movement slow. I have an idea. I think I know a way we can win, but we need to survive a little bit. If I level up the movement speed slow enough that her movement speed change doesn't out overpower it, I can just keep running away from her while taunting her. But we do need to not die. So that will be the first step to this, this idea. Because I think I can probably survive the Spectre's damage if I all I'm doing is just my my uh, battle hunger. I can even make the battle hunger weaker. I think I actually gotta I gotta decrease my battle hunger power. Weirdly, I think that's right. Okay. I don't know if we'll get to do anything anymore. Okay. Ah, run, run, run. Got the bug, which is a big problem. No, she's still so fast. Alright, they got us. But what a struggle it was. What a struggle it was. Kind of a crazy game still. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bit of axe and boosted. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.